Welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. I am solving question 3 of finite difference method. Use FDM to solve the given differential equation here. This is the domain given to me. The value of theta at x equal to 0 is 600 and the value of theta at x is equal to 10 centimeter is 300. Take 4 subdivisions. Here it is already given the value of n is 4. Compare the answers with exact solution at x is 2, 4 and 8 centimeters. So these are the data that is given to me. I will start with d square theta upon dx square minus 25 theta plus 100 is equal to 0. I will convert this into theta i double dash minus 25 theta i plus 100 is equal to 0. This is my equation 1 and this is given to me obviously. Now by FDM we know theta i double dash will be the formula here y has become u and then u has turned to theta it just depends on the question that is given to us for h the formula is b minus a upon n here i can see it is 10 centimeter and this is 0 so this will be 10 minus 0 upon 4 this becomes 2.5 centimeter now there is an important observation to be made here this equation is a governing differential equation of fin. This number 25 over here actually represents the term m square. If you recollect the equation of fin, it is d square theta by dx square minus m square theta is equal to some term x or 0, whatever it is. This m square is the number 25 here. If you recollect this term m, it has a unit of 1 upon meter. Since the unit of m is 1 upon meter, hence I will be converting everything in this question into meter. So this becomes 0 0.025 meter. If you solve this question further in centimeter, you will get wrong answers because in the equation, this term m which is root of hp upon ka, here all these terms are in meter. Hence, I have converted here itself. So, when I substitute this in this equation, I get theta i double dash is equal to theta i plus 1 minus twice theta i plus theta i minus 1 upon 0 0.025 square. So, when I square this and I take an inverse, I get the value as 1600. So, I multiply 1600 with each term. So, I get 1600 theta i plus 1 minus 3200 theta i plus 1600 theta i minus 1. This is the equation for theta i double dash. I mark this as equation number 2. I will be substituting equation 2 in this equation 1. I will add these two terms, so I get therefore 1600 theta i plus 1 minus 3225 theta i plus 1600 theta i minus 1 will be equal to minus 100. This is equation 3. In this equation, I have to now substitute the value of i that is number of iterations. I will make the quick table which I have made in the previous numericals x is 0, theta at this point is 600. Now if you understand this is equation of fin, so this theta is going to indicate temperature. So it is actually 600 degree Celsius. Next I have x at 0 0.1 meter is given as 300 degree Celsius. It is given that n is 4, so here I will write down x1, x2, x3 theta 1, theta 2, theta 3 
and theta 4. Now, since there are four subdivisions and the value of h was 0 0.025, so this will be 0 0.025, then I will have 0 0.05, next I will have 0 0.075 and then finally 0 0.1 meter. I have been told to calculate at 2 centimeter, this is 2.5 centimeter. I have been told to calculate at 4, this is 5 centimeter and this is 7.5 centimeter. I have to calculate at 8 centimeter. So, you can very well observe that those values are somewhere here, here and here. It is in between values. It is not at these points, but still I will calculate at these points and then finally I will find out the values at the required points. Let us start with this now. I will write down for i is equal to 1. When I substitute i as 1, I get therefore 1600 theta 2 minus 3225 theta 1 plus 1600 theta naught is equal to minus 100. Now, the value of theta naught is known to me as 600. When I substitute here, I will get therefore minus 3225 theta 1 plus 1600 theta 2 is equal to. When I substitute 600 and I solve this and I take it on the other side, I get the total value as minus 960100. This is equation 1. Next, I will solve for i is equal to 2. When I have i is equal to 2 and I substitute in this equation, I will get 1600 theta 3 minus 3225 theta 2 plus 1600 theta 1 is equal to minus 100. Let us rearrange these. So, I get 1600 theta 1 minus 3225 theta 2 plus 1600 theta 3 is equal to minus 100. Here all the values are unknown theta 1, theta 2, theta 3. So, I will just mark this as equation 2. Next for i is equal to 3. When I substitute i is equal to 3 here, I will get therefore 1600 theta 4 minus 3225 theta 3 plus 1600 theta 2 is equal to minus 100. I know the value of theta 4 is 300. So, when I substitute here, I will get therefore 1600 theta 2 minus 3225 theta 3 is equal to minus 480100. This is equation 3. On solving equations 1, 2 and 3, I will get theta 1 which is theta at 0 0.025, theta 2 which is theta at 0 0.05 and theta 3 which is theta at 0 0.075. As 514.23 degree Celsius, 436.43 degree Celsius, and 365.39 degree Celsius, respectively. So these are the values by FDM method. Now, after obtaining these values, I will have to calculate the value at x equal to 0 0.02 meters, 0 0.04 meter, and 0 0.08 meter. Now, for that, I am going to refer this table. Now, if you observe carefully, I have got the value of theta 1 as 514.23, theta 2 is 436.43 and theta 3 is 365.39. Now, I have to calculate the value in between these two values. Then, I have to calculate the value between these two values and then between these two values. So, I am going to make a small table here that is from this itself the value of theta at x equal to 0 is 600 degree Celsius. I know the value of x at 0 0.02 meter as 0 0.05 meter as 514.23 degree Celsius. I want to calculate this theta over here and this value of x is 0 0.02 meter. So, I am going to use a simple interpolation method which is 0 0.02 minus 0 divided by 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू फाइव माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू इज इक्वल टू ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड आई एम गोइंग टू सब्ट्रैक्ट द सेम पोजिशन वैल्यूज सो आई टेक थीटा माइनस सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट फाइव वन फोर पॉइंट टू थ्री माइनस थीटा सो इफ आई सॉल्व दिस आई गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू आई गेट द वैल्यू इज फाइव थर्टी वन पॉइंट थ्री एट डिग्री सेल्शियस सिमिलरली I know the value of x1 as 0.025 meter. I know the value of x2 as 0.05 meter. I want to calculate the value at 0.04 meter. So correspondingly, theta one is 514.23. The value of theta two is 436.43, and the value of theta at this point is to be found. So I will write. Again by linear interpolation, zero point zero four minus zero point zero two five divided by zero point zero five minus zero point zero two five is equal to theta minus five one four point two three divided by four thirty six point four three minus five one four point two three. When I solve this, I get the value of theta as Four sixty seven point five six degree Celsius, and lastly, I know the value of x three is zero point zero seven five meter, x four is zero point one meter. I want to calculate x at this point of zero point zero eight meter. Here, theta three is three sixty five point three nine, theta four is three hundred degree Celsius. I want to calculate the value of theta at this point. So I will write zero point one minus zero point zero seven five divided by zero point one minus zero point zero eight is equal to three hundred minus three sixty five point three nine divided by three hundred minus theta. You have observed I have taken the subtraction values as per my wish every time. i have changed the order so you can just take it any order because it is linear interpolation which means the relation between these numbers is linear it's not a non linear relationship hence you can take any difference and you'll get the value of theta as 354.59 degree celsius so this is theta at 8 cm this is theta at 4 cm next i will be solving this numerical by exact solution This is the equation given to me. I will take let d by dx as capital D. So this becomes therefore d square theta minus twenty five theta is equal to minus hundred. I will be shifting hundred on the other side. Now here I can take theta common, so I get therefore d square minus twenty five. Theta common is minus hundred. Let me mark this as equation A. Now this theta will be in the form of theta c plus theta p. That is complementary function plus particular integral. So I'll write down to find complementary function that is theta c. I'll equate this equation to zero. So d square minus twenty five will be equal to zero. Therefore, d square will be twenty five. Therefore, I'll get d is equal to plus or minus five, which means I can say my d is equal to plus five and minus five. Real and unequal roots. Theta c will be c one e raised to five x plus c two e raised to minus five x. This is my equation number c. Next, I'm going to find the particular integral. Which is theta p. Theta p will be one upon d square minus twenty five into minus hundred. Now here I'll take minus twenty five common, so I get one minus d square by twenty five into minus hundred. This negative sign gets cancelled, and hundred upon twenty five is four. This goes to the numerator. One minus d square upon twenty five inverse. 
Now your well works that this will be 4 into 1 plus d square by 25. There will be only one number because the second derivative is 0. So this is the value of theta p. I mark this as equation d. Now I will substitute equation c and d in equation b. Therefore I get theta is equal to c1 e raised to 5x plus c2 e raised to minus 5x plus 4. I am going to apply boundary conditions now. So when I apply the boundary conditions, first one at x equal to 0, theta is equal to 600 degree Celsius. Therefore, here when I substitute, I get 600 is equal to C1 plus C2 plus 4. Therefore, I will get C1 plus C2 is equal to 596. This is first equation. I will apply the second boundary condition. At x is equal to 0 0.1 meter, your theta value is equal to 300 degree Celsius. So therefore, 300 is equal to C1 e raised to 5 into 0 0.1 plus C2 e raised to minus 5 into 0 0.1 plus 4. Therefore, I will get C1 e raised to 0 0.5 plus C2 e raised to minus 0 0.5 is equal to 296. I mark this as equation B. On solving equation A and B, I will get the value of C1 and C2. I get C1 as minus 62.84 and C2 is 658.84. I will substitute these two values in this equation. So, I will get therefore theta is equal to minus 6284 e raised to 5x plus 658.84 e raised to minus 5x plus 4. Now, I will be calculating the value of theta at 0 0.02, theta at 0 0.04 and theta at 0 0.08. In this method, you directly get the answers unlike in the previous method. I get 530.3, I get 466.66 and I get 351.89 degree Celsius. Now I will make a table comparing the two values by both the methods. So these are the values that I obtained by FDM and exact method. You can see the values are very close. But these are the exact and accurate answers and these are precisely correct. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.